very smart students namaste and welcome to a lecture on patna kalam painting origin style features and the present status patna kalam painting is an offshoot of a mughal painting go back to the mughal era we find there the era of jahangir and the era of jahangir during the mughal empire is known as the golden age of mughal painting where the art of painting creation of painting flourished many fold right at the chief uh, center of this patna kalam painting where patna ala and uh, this painting is the first painting who is having an independent dimension in this lecture we will analyze the origin of patna kalab painting a style characteristics and the present condition patna kalam painting also known as patna school of painting okay or patna kalam next point patna kalam is an offshoot of mogal painting next mogal style matured during jahangirism and his period is called the golden of age of mogal painting the style of indian painting which existed in bihar in india in the 18th and the 19th century okay yeah? patna kalam painting was the world's first painting first painting in the world which deals exclusively with the commoners and the life style of the commoners and this definitely help patna kalam painting to be popular now come to the principal centers of patna kalam painting or so called the patna school of painting the principal centers are patna danapur ala and the origin again to repeat it's an offshoot of mughal painting in fact during the region of aurangzeb mughal emperor in the late 17th and early 18th century what happens Artis artisans within the empire of aurangzeb faced mass persecution and aversion in art and painting and due to this the painters migrated from delhi looking for the shelter in different places okay one such group moved eastward and landed in murshidabad under the patronage of the nawab of bengal and other local aristocrats however the british patrons patrons were also a significant in the mid 
18th century, remember, in the mid-18th century, after the fall of the Nawab of Bengal and subsequent decline of Murshidabad, what happens? Artisans started moving to the next city in the east and it was Patna. In Patna, they came under the patronage of local aristocracy and often into file shions of the early East India Company. Next come to the style, style of Patna Kalam painting. Patna Kalam painting being an offshoot of Mughal painting, getting influenced by the Persian and the company painting style, developed for British customers. So you just see the style, it is the offshoot of Mughal painting and was influenced by the Persian style and also by the company painting style that was developed for the British customers. Portraits can be seen in colors and linings from Mughal Empire and in shading from the British style. Patna Kalam basically uh, focused on the subject of the painting, right? Patna Kalam painting primarily focused on the subject of the painting, right? Unlike Mughal painting, which focused on the royalty and court scenes. If you see the Mughal, uh, if you see the Mughal painting, there you will find the Mughal painting was basically focused on the royalty and court scenes. As against this, Patna Kalam painting were are deeply influenced by the daily life of the common people. Now come to the main subjects. Main subject of Patna Kalam were are local festivals, local festivals, ceremonies, bazaar scenes, local rulers, domestic activities, right? And the paintings were done on diverse surfaces such as paper, mica, even ivory diskettes that were used as brooches. A different features of Patna Kalam is lack of any landscape. Very important fact is here, just to remember and care to it. Patna Kalam painting lacks in any landscape, foreground or the background. And the another feature of this painting is the development in the shading of solid forms. And third one, Patna Kalam paintings printed straight away with the brush without making with pencil to delineate the colors of the picture. And the next feature is the procedure of paintings is known as Kajili Sihi. Now see the Patna Kalam paintings today. What is the present condition? well-known painters, just to name, Seva Kalam, remember Seva Kalam, Hulas Lal, any more from you? Yes, Sivalal, next, Sivadyal, any more? Mahadev Lal, and Ishwari Prasad Barma. Right? So the painters are, again to repeat, Shiva Kram, Hulas Lal, Shiv Lal, Shiv Dayal, Mahadev Lal, and Ishwari Prasad Bama. There is currently no one to carry on the tradition. 
very sorry state of affairs it's not good not to listen or to write but the fact is that currently now nothing to carry on the tradition and so only there only three collections of patna kalam paintings exist in bihar only three collections right one at the patna museum others at the khudavaks library and next one is the patna university's college of arts and crafts right only three paintings belonging to the era of patna kalam right are staying with us one is here in patna museum second one in in khudavaks library and third one in in patna university's college of art and crafts patna kalam flourished only as long as a western patnot patnots exists very significant point as long as western patrons there were there patna kalam painting flourished that's all for this lecture thanks for giving me patience listening